second game of Indie Showcase Saturday. This is one that was not on the list until literally yesterday, but uh, I had this had missed my radar somehow. But I ended up seeing a review of it from Skill Up, who is quickly becoming one of my favorite gaming uh, critical gaming YouTubers, actually. And this is called The Hong Kong Massacre. It's from another small developer out of Sweden called Vresky. And it's basically it, the way Skill Up uh, phrased it was is if you took Max Payne and mashed it together with Hotline Miami, which I was like, done and done. Now, the only thing is, apparently this game has a lot of bugs and it is rather, uh, it's got some control input issues, but he still loved it to death. It's apparently not that hard in the sense that if you just want to beat the story, you can beat it fairly quickly. Uh, but if you want to do like stylish, perfect runs, which is really what you want out of one of these things, then uh, that could take a lot longer. Uh, he highly, highly recommends playing it with a controller. He said you can play it with keyboard and mouse, though it's really not ideal that way. So uh, I'm going to give this a try. And see, so this is on the uh, this is on the PC, and it's also on the PS4, as I understand it. So it's eighteen dollars US, which is well, that's eighteen dollars US. I guess that's because it's ten percent off, so it's normally going to be twenty dollars US. Uh, but it's apparently uh, very, very good. <laughs> Where Tiger already grabbed it, I see. It's apparently very, very, uh, very, very good, but uh, it has some technical issues. But they have been patching it. Um, fairly regularly and they've added some quality of life stuff here like on the 24th they added the ability to restart a level when you've died by pressing the reload button so instant quick start things like that uh remove mouse slowdown and slow motion can be activated back with legacy aim so it looks like they're already dealing with some of the criticisms which is really really nice to see devs that respond that quickly so all right so yeah let us give this a go i'm diving into this blind as well but honestly if this even has a little bit of dna like hotline miami i am all over it because i friggin love i love the hotline miami games and i'm a big fan of max Payne. it also does apparently have a story though it's borderline unintelligible i've been told uh, but then again, Hotline Miami is not that different. Has cinematics and stuff, though, which is interesting. Again, for a two-person team. Oh, crap. Hang on. I got cat hair on my screen. All right. Uh, resolution 2560 by 1440. Graphic quality high. So this is Legacy Aim. This was the thing that they said... Uh, people were complaining about so maybe we'll try it with that on and then if I don't like it very much we'll 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 change it back so we'll see here so controls here slow motion mode that's like max pain bullet time fire dive dodge reload pick up so you see the controls are fairly basic there's actually not a lot to keep you keep your eye on here Oh, music by Professor Click. Okay, cool. Uh, dive right into this piece. They put some effort into their cutscenes. I'll give them that. They look really nice. Again, for a tiny dev, with no publisher, by the way. This was this was self-published. Wait, did I install this to my mechanical hard drive? Based on the noise, it sounds like I did. Why did I do that? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you, Infinite Uh I am usually smart about that, but that's because in previous Indie Showcase Saturdays, I have stopped the stream in between segments, uh, which I no longer have to do, and that always reminded me to change the name. Thank you, sir. There we go. Uh, okay, so my head is over the story, but I've been told the story and this is nothing uh, super, super crazy anyway, so. Oh, did you? So these cutscenes, I guess, have no real dialogue in them. Bresky's also just a really cool dev name. Sounds like cyberpunk.
I mean, this game looks like it's going to do what it says on the tin. Then hit install and move it back. Okay, that's weird, but hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> How odd. Once it's done downloading, it won't matter at all anyway, uh, anymore, so. Ooh, I'm already liking this music. God, am I gonna have to put another game soundtrack on my phone? All right, so here we go. Whoa, okay, I see what they're talking about with the aiming now. Wow, that is really sensitive. Also, I've got to figure out what's with OBS and VSync because whenever I have OBS enabled, I am getting some incredible frame judder on my primary on my primary monitor. Now, I did also enable I did also enable uh, Nvidia's new. Wow, okay. <laughs> I also did enable NVIDIA's new Adaptive Sync, which my monitor is technically not officially supported on, so that could be a problem too. Wow! First come, first served. Yes, indeed. Alright, this game don't fuck around. Okay, I'm not using slow motion either, so hang on. Oh god, yeah, oh wow. When you're in slow motion, the aiming goes super weird. Now the slow motion, okay, so the slow motion is on a meter. Okay. Uh, Telethon, uh, that's the hope. I, I actually have to uh, uh, have a chat with uh, our rep from Chio, but the hope is that yes, we will be. Uh, but I have to have a chat with her about that soon. She said she was very interested in doing it. I just haven't had the time of late. Oh, and you can drop guns and then fire them again. Okay. Uh, if we do it again this year, it's going to be structured a little bit differently than it was in the past. That is, that is probably still going to happen. Uh, because that's kind of the point. If anything, we might be upping the crowd interaction a bit, but in a different way. We're thinking about actually having, uh, like a dedicated area with some consoles and stuff set up that somebody will be manning, that those kids would be able to come over and hang out at. So rather than peering over our shoulder, oh, blew them through the door. They would be able to come and sort of hang out in their own little space. That's kind of, that, that, that was what Caustic proposed. Okay, I'm gonna try turning off this legacy aim because yeah, the way the aiming focus slows when you're in um, the way the aiming focus slows when you're in uh, slow motion. I, mm, I'm not so big a fan. Also, yeah, I don't know if this is G-Sync or something else, but I've got to figure out what this frame judder is when I'm using OBS, because it makes, in games like this that are very much require fast reflexes, it makes it really difficult. I think I'm also trying to conserve ammo too much. It looks like you can really just mash fire because everybody drops a gun that you can pick up that refills your ammo. So it kind of looks like what I really should be doing is just and it looks like it's not based on how much ammo you get from their gun doesn't look like it's based on how much uh ammo they use so it kind of looks like i really should just be mashing there we go the journey begins but boy is this visceral oh wow Challenges. Complete the level without using slow motion. Complete the level only hitting enemies. Oh my god. So now I see why you need to play this so many times. Wow. Okay. Oh, was this guy... Did this guy have his lady friend murdered? Shooty, shooty, splatty, splatty.
Beth comes knocking at the door. Ways Chow's gang apartment, Fu Chiang estate. And it has leaderboards. Because of course it does. It looks like the fastest time you can beat this level is five seconds. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Because I want to play some of that after before uh, before uh, my friend comes over tonight. Oh, and I can spend the star challenges to unlock weapons. Neat. So that's your incentive to actually do the challenges in in here is is you can spend money to you can spend the the stars you earn from challenges to buy weapons and upgrades for said weapons. Unlimited ammo, movement speed, fire rate, clip size. That's that okay, this is pretty dope. Now, there's also a dive option in this that I believe I've missed. Okay, right right bumper is dive is dive. Okay. This is the other reason I've been getting killed a lot of Oh, bye bro. Ha ha ha. Ah, but if the enemies drop pistols, I pick up another pistol. So this weapon that I I'm starting with here, I don't necessarily get to keep through the whole level. Yeah, this game don't give a fuck, man. This game is very much modeled after Hong Kong action cinema, like stuff like The Raid or uh, The Night Comes For Us, which actually is what uh, Michelle and I watched la uh, a couple of weeks ago. Oh my God, look at the, oh, look at the way the particle effects explode when you hit, oh! Yeah, uh, Michelle is uh, new, oh God is a uh, new uh, lady friend of mine. She's interested in, uh, yeah, we've hung out, we've hung out some and she's interested in, uh, well, geez. Uh, she's actually watched some of my streams and she thinks, she thinks this is kind of neat. She didn't know anything about streaming before she met me, but she thinks it's actually pretty neat. <laughs> Casanova. No, I'm just, for I I'm just, I'm just fortunate. I can conv convince somebody that I'm actually not, uh, not a, uh, not a, like, crazy nut job. Uh, no, that's, uh, no, Foxy's a different friend of mine. But, uh, yeah. Oop. God, this the visuals in this are just so like just so gr visceral and in your face. It's amazing. Okay, so I can also roll without using slow mo. Okay, I thought you had to use them in concert. That actually makes things a little easier. Yeah, honestly. I think the new the new non-legacy aiming mode is is definitely better. I could see you being able to land more stylish shots and the like if you were in that legacy. Oh, goosh! <laughs> I could definitely see you being able to land more um, uh, like stylish and interesting shots if you use the legacy mode. I'm sure that's still the best way to play the game, but this mode is definitely far less frustrating. So it looks like every challenge in every level is don't use slow-mo and have perfect aim, which, oh God. I know SkillUp said that he aimed to go back and beat every level in this game um, perfectly, and he said some of them he would restart like 30, 40 times. Uh, so the, he said this only takes a couple of hours to beat if you just want to grind out the story, but he said this could take hours and hours and hours if you really wanted to to perfect all the challenges. But I, I re Hotline Miami mashed with Max Payne, that is exactly what this is. Like, exactly. And that is two genres. That is chocolate and peanut butter. That is two genres that go great together.
This is basically just me getting interrogated by the police about what I just did. Yeah, perfecting all these challenges would definitely be tough. Tall order. No doubt. So let's get ourselves a weapon upgrade. Um, how many achievements are there in this? There's 19. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any voice acting at all, which is kind of kind of too bad. But <laughs> but I, I think this game, much like Future Grind, was made by only a couple of people. It, it was made by only like two Swedish guys. Oof. Yeah, like not using slow-mo and then killing only enemies. Like, man, that's a especially in some of these later levels this is going to be a tall order like if you don't know where the enemies spawn in and basically can't memorize the pattern that's going to be rough man but a really good challenge for those who are up for it i just want to see if i can do one without slow-mo though maybe i should go back to the first level if i want to pull that off Old boy? Yeah. I I don't think I've seen that. I know the name, but I'm pretty sure I haven't seen it. I do really like the fact uh, they, they put uh, Quick Restart on. And again, just like Future Grind, Quick Restart. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to restart the... Uh, uh, you, there's no load. It's just you hit the button and you immediately go back to the beginning. No countdown, no load time. Again, that's how challenge-based games like this should be. Hey, Foxy, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, my dear. How are you? Oh, yeah, it takes on the crowd in the hallway. Me. I have seen that. I don't honestly remember. Also, I may have to see if I can get the soundtrack to this game on Google Play because the soundtrack for this is pretty great. I may try to go back to the first level and see if I can beat a level with... Uh without using slow-mo, though a level where you only hit enemies with every shot seems like friggin' brutality. Oh, man, yeah. Wait till you get to 150. You want to friggin' lose your damn mind. Yeah, 150 will wreck, will wreck. Yeah, Foxy's been uh, been grinding away at the Mario Kart there pretty good. I did a I did a uh, when I was on the plane uh, to and from Pack South, I did a good chunk of uh, 50 CC. But uh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's the thing with Mario Kart. It's a very simple game to pick up and play, but if you turn up the difficulty, that game is deceptively brutal. Like. That game will will wreck will wreck you if you uh, if you try to play it at the higher difficulties. <laughs> you need you need that perfection. You need a perfect run. I I get it. Well, at least you're getting uh, you're and you're unlocking a whole bunch of stuff too, which is nice, right? That's the other thing that's nice is when you beat the 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 cups and stuff, you're unlocking more more stuff for your carts and that you can use in multiplayer. You should get yourself, uh, you should spend the 20 bucks and get yourself a year of Nintendo Switch Online and go wreck some fools online. Yeah, Mercedes-Benz was actually part of the, on the Wii U, the Mercedes-Benz stuff was actually part of the first uh, DLC add-on for the game. The first downloadable uh, add-on that you could get. Uh, but the Switch version of Mario Kart 8 has all those add-ons built in, you don't have to pay for them. 
or no, it was sorry, you didn't have to pay for the Mercedes-Benz add-on. That was a free add-on that was sponsored, obviously, which is why it had that. It was not part of the first DLC. It's actually not the best car, no, it's it's not. I mean, you know, Mercedes-Benz, their luxury cars are not really, you know, they, they ain't really track machines, you know? AMGs, they are not. <laughs> Oh, man. I... Yeah. I I am getting so many Hotline Miami and Max Payne vibes from this game, and I am really liking it. Like... Achievement Unlocked bringing out the dead, which I'm sure is what? Like, kill 50 people? Kill 100 people! Uh, so this is, a, this is a game called The Hong Kong Massacre, uh, Foxy. It actually... Um, so I watched, I hadn't heard of this, I did come, it had come out under my radar, and then a YouTube reviewer that I really like named SkillUp posted a video on it yesterday, and I went, oh, this looks cool, I wonder if I could get it for a future Indie Showcase Saturday. I sent an email to the devs and I said, hey, uh, do you have any press codes? And they answered me in 10 minutes. Uh, this is made by a tiny little, I believe it's two-person team from Sweden called Vresky, and uh, it is awesome. It's, um... It's kind of like a puzzle combat game. Basically, your aim is to... Uh, uh, you have to go through these levels, and it's it has like a slowdown mechanic and uh, like a dodge mechanic. It's playing like a Hong Kong action movie. And your goal is to take out... To get through the levels to complete the story, but there's also challenges and other things like that. And you're aiming to try to get as perfect a run as you can because these star challenges that you get um, allow you to unlock better guns and upgrades for them. Um... It's very challenging. Uh, this, but it's like uh, it's like Hotline Miami. Um, oh, nice caustic, super jealous. Uh, it's like you combined Hotline Miami with Max Payne, and which Hotline Miami is an amazing indie series of games that plays kind of like this. And Max Payne is an old school franchise from uh, about 10, 15 years ago that has that slowdown mechanic in it. Oh my God, it it plays really well. It's very challenging, and it's got... I know when it came out, it had a lot of glitches and control problems, but the developers have been super responsive to patching it and keeping it up to date. And I know one of SkillUp's big complaints about the uh, the way the controls work, they've already patched. Um, so they're clearly being very, very responsive. Um, but yeah, you, you, you're you basically, it's a top-down game where you're basically recreating like your favorite insane scenes from, uh, from Hong Kong action movies. And, and SkillUp mentioned this too, you can actually, um, if you just want to play the story, you can basically get through this game very, very quickly. But if you want to get perfect runs, which is really what these games are about, they're score attack games for all intents and purposes, then you want to, you're going to want to, uh, it, you could spend a lot of time grinding these levels out. Uh, the game only takes like two to three hours to beat if you just want to grind out the story. But if you want to play um, the whole thing uh, through, it's, uh, it could, and, and perfect it, it could take a while. So what I'm doing here is I went back to the first level. I'm actually, so... There's a time limit on each level that you'll get a star if you beat. And then there's also achievements on each level that are uh, basically don't use slow-mo and don't miss any shots. I want to see if I can get at least the no slow-mo one. But ensuring that you hit each enemy your first time with your shot is really difficult because they move very, very quickly. I only missed one there though, and I didn't use slow-mo there. Achievement unlocked, no need to slow down. And the interesting thing is, in a lot of games, these achie these uh, challenges are just for bragging rights. So if you get them, you it's just to say you did it. In this, e completing each one gives you a star that you can use to buy new weapons and upgrades for your existing weapons. So you have an actual reason to do it. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can perfect one level because I got... Damn it. So now I can use slow-mo because I've already earned that one. So the other challenge is don't miss, which I just did right there. So I want to see if I can pull this off and get perfect on at least one. But yeah, replay, the, much like Future Grind, which was the game I played uh, before this one, 
the desire to just keep replaying and get that perfect run is a super big draw and a really big compelling element of the game. And again, the thing that I love about games like this where you have to retry a lot, there's no delay. When you press the, the restart button, it doesn't make you sit through a load screen. It doesn't make you sit through a countdown where it goes, get ready, three, two, one, go. You just hit the button and you're immediately back in. And games like this, that is absolutely key because otherwise when you have too many bad runs in a row, you'll get frustrated and pissed off at the game. Um, whereas in this case, it's... You don't have when a when the game has a quick restart system like this you don't have to think about your your failure because you're immediately back in the action and you're playing again it doesn't give you any time to focus on that bad run that you had um absolutely critical uh with games like this and yeah the the game looks good it's like i really like the look of it it's obviously super crazy violent the music fits really well one of the things that really drew people into hotline miami was how amazing and unique its soundtrack was that was actually the game that got me into synthwave and i definitely want to see if this soundtrack is on google play because this is i, I love the music in this I, I'm also thinking that the rifle might not be the best gun to do a uh, a uh, perfect shot run with. Also, yeah, if you're close enough to doors, you can blow doors open. No, I missed. I might start this up again with the pistol. But yeah, made by a uh, super tiny developer. It's also self-published. Uh, these guys are not working with a publisher. They put it out themselves, which good for them. You don't always see that. Uh, clearly some talent on the on these people though Sweden actually has a very large uh, game development community that's where the uh, makers of battlefield are based so uh, there's a lot of talent in that nation for game development damn it soundtrack is not published oh man it will be soon because I guarantee you people on their steam forums right now are screaming for the soundtrack for this game uh, the name of the, uh, now the other thing is though too, is uh, it's in the credits. The name of the musician uh, is in the credits. So these might just be taken from uh, one of their albums. So if you, if we, if you find an album by that musician, you might um, uh, be able to find the music anyway. Cause actually when Hotline Miami came out, Devolver didn't publish the soundtrack for that. And they ended up doing it after like massive demand from people. Um, so I have no doubt the same will happen here, but I'm going to go look up albums by the, uh, the musician after this. Actually, that's right. I keep trying not to use slow-mo. I don't need to do that. I can use slow-mo now because I got that, uh, I got that unlock. So. Damn it. But yeah, the, so the levels are relatively short as well. So that's the, at least at this point. So that's the other nice thing, right? Is, is, is you don't, a, failure in this game doesn't mean a huge amount of time investment loss necessarily either. So, because you can just start the game back up again, or you can start the level back and you don't lose a lot of time. Devolver's actually coming out with a new game this year called Ape Out that I got to see played at PAX that looks really cool uh, in a very similar sort of fashion to this except it's much more about physical combat and less about guns i think i probably should use a different gun with this though okay one more ah damn it i missed one again damn it to hell all right, I'm gonna do one more try of that and then we'll go do some more levels. I pretty much got it though. But you see, so the enemies don't always move the same way. The enemies always have different, uh, different uh, movement patterns, but they always spawn in the same location. Uh, so you can, to a certain point, pattern memorize your way through it. Um, it's in the credits for the gameware, Tiger. I'll, uh, I'll check it out after this. If you go to the main menu and select credits, it says, like, Game by Vresky, Music by somebody. I want to say it starts with an I. 
somebody I hadn't heard of before this, but there are now a very large number of synthwave artists I don't know. Oh, I got two in one run there. Damn it! I'm always choking at the end. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. This would be a very good Steam Link game. This is on PS4 as well, so if you don't have a Steam Link but really want to play this on your couch and big screen, you do have an option there too. Um, this is a uh, this would be a very good Steam Link game though, though with the precision and the controls this requires. The Steam Link has very little lag, but there is just a teeny bit, and I wonder if that would be enough to make this difficult. Also, the fact that I'm getting that wicked screen judder that OBS is causing isn't helping me either, so uh, that's something I'll have to figure out after this. That's an OBS problem, though. Oh, wow, you fuckers. You left the room. No, I missed. Oh, I was doing so well. Okay. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, this game's really fun, you guys. I absolutely see what Skill Up liked about it. And yeah, as a hot as a fan of both Hotline Miami and Max Payne, this scratches both of those itches very nicely. I can say, though, that while you could probably pull off cooler moves by using the original aim mode, I would probably recommend uh, using the secondary aim mode because it plays much better. Perfect aim! Baboosh! There we go. Um, yeah, the legacy aim mode definitely makes this harder, at least on controllers. Uh, here, uh, where? The musician's name is Professor Click. K-L-I-Q. Professor Click. All right, let's move on to the next mission. No one's safe until you're all dead. The Two-Headed Dragon's Heroin Lab. So this is clearly in a, in a nice neighborhood. Here. Uh, I got all... I, got, I managed to three-star the first level, Foxy, which is what I was trying to do. I actually think I kind of like the pistols a bit more. Oh, does he? Oh, cool. If they're anything like this, I am watching the ever-loving crap. I'm watching. I'm going to listen to the ever-loving crap out of his stuff because it seems really good. Oh, what? Eight? Holy crap. Okay, so clearly someone with some... Uh, clearly someone with a... Uh, some repute. Actually, you know what? I'm going to spend these and just unlock all four of the weapons so I can play with them. How far did you get in this where? Have you played it very much yet? Curious if you have a preferred uh, weapon. Oh, I like the SMG. Oh, nice. Once again, folks, this uh, these streams exist uh, to demonstrate that the Shed can sell games. So, hey. The Shed takes indies way serious. Yeah, I'm going to hopefully have some time to try out Anthem a little bit this evening and tomorrow. Because, yeah, I know it's sensitive. Also, their servers seem to be in various uh, fluctuating states of meltdown. Apparently on the uh, it uh, uh, apparently it's worse on the uh, consoles in terms of connectivity problems. I guess they're having harder times spinning up more servers for those, which seems weird to me because it feels like it would be the same servers regardless of what version, just like different server pools. But you know what? Do, what do I know about IT? Oh God! Oh God! There's a lot more of you. Oh jeez. I'm caught on a wall. 
I, I like the fact as well that you're you have an unlimited amount of rolls, and uh, it's very generous on the amount of slow mo it gives you, and it recovers quickly. Like you can just keep rolling indefinitely if you want, and you do have uh, your 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 slow mo does recover quickly, which I I appreciate. That said, it's also super unforgiving. It's one shot and you dead. Though there are uh, there are elements in the levels that you can rec uh, hide behind too and, rec uh, and and use for cover, which I have not been. Oh, that guy rolled too. Oh, double kill! Oh, ah, oh, suck it! <laughs> yeah, can you tell I'm having fun with this? I'm having fun with this. <laughs> this game's all right. Okay, this one I didn't even get one star on, and I think we can do better. So let's let's see if we can at least get the, the 50 seconds. I do like what the uh, SMG is doing. Kind of surprised there isn't an achievement for unlocking all four uh, four weapons, though. Oh, what? Come on. Oh my god, drop you fucker. I do like that it kind of gives you, some people would probably consider it a bit cheesing, but I do like the fact that if someone is relatively near and off screen, it does give you just that tiny little arrow indicator to go, hey, you're not going to get shot from somewhere where you couldn't see, you couldn't see somebody, you know? I like that. There we go. Hey, work. What's up, buddy? How are you? Welcome to the Hong Kong Massacre. There we go. We got our one star for the time. Okay, good. Oh, how's your weekend going, sir? Vengeance is my only friend. Warehouse of the Dragon. Haven't gotten too much in the way of um, story for the last couple uh, last couple missions. Good, man. Well, if you guys are still at it when I'm done here, I'll drop a host on you. We're on the second game here. We've got a couple of... Uh, I've got three more that I want to talk to about after this. Oh, God. You're going down that rabbit hole, are you? Oh, boy. Have fun with that. Oh, yeah? There's a... Uh, there are entire YouTube series dedicated to, f to like, trying to explain what the actual goes on in, the, in those games. Oh, almost got a double. Baboosh! Oh, shoot. He was on iframes. Nope. Okay. So, shotgun may be at least an unupgraded shotgun. Maybe not the best piece for this. Especially with the slow recharge. Okay, though, if you time your rolls right. Ho! Oh! All right, all right, I'm getting it. I'm getting. I'm getting into it. Oh, I gotta take out the windows before I can hit the guy. Neat. Oh my god, this music is really good too. Oh, there's another one over there. Shiz stacks. Ah, oh, damn it. I lost the roll. Oh. oh, no, wait, I got him. 
Okay, I thought I, I thought that was him killing me. I thought I lost the roll. Oh, but I didn't do it in 46 seconds. Okay, the shotgun I definitely think is not the best. Okay, unless you can get double kills like that. The sh I was going to say maybe the shotgun's not the best gun to start with. Potentially not the case. Oh, okay. I got to fucking roll. I got to roll. Fucking baboosh. Ah. Uh. Good night. Good night. Oh my god, this game makes you feel like a fucking badass. Yeah. Oh, damn. For sure, buddy. Hey, have yourself a good stream. I will. Uh, yeah, if you guys are at this when I'm done, I will. Uh, I will send. The, I will send the folks your way. I will commit to that now. You should, guys should definitely, if anybody wants to give a shout out to, to Wirt there, or you can shout out yourself if you want, buddy, uh, you should go follow, uh, uh, Wirt and his, uh, his lady friend are, uh, doing, uh, so, uh, they're, they're streaming together and they're doing some, uh, they're doing some really cool stuff. Definitely really nice, really, really genuine people. Highly recommend giving them a look. There we go. That went way better. All right. Okay, so we hit it. We hit it in the 46 here. So hang on. I'm going to give a shout out to Word here. So definitely go, definitely go drop a, a follow on them. Hey, Akarid. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. How you doing? Welcome to Indie Showcase Saturday. This is the second of uh, five games I'm planning to showcase today. This is the Hong Kong Massacre, which I have to say so far, friggin' loving this piece. Oh my God. Yes, indeed. Well, welcome. Glad to see ya. This is, oh my God. This game is totally a Hotline Miami meets Max Payne and it's really friggin' fun. Really, really good. Last Deep Pocket Pack. Yes, I believe I did. I saw so many amazing games at packs, I can't even remember them all now. But yes, I believe so. Oh, 115. This is going to be a large level. I think I'm going to upgrade the SMG a titch. Yeah, I've I, I've heard good things. Oh, look at you being all adult on the weekend. Good on you, buddy. I had to adult like a mofo all week with work insanity, so I uh, yeah I I I thankfully did my I did my bit. Oh wow, this is a really big level. I love being. I love shooting these guys through the door, like when, where you're where you come up on the door and you just the door explodes, and then the guy along with it, or you do shit like that. Oh, except I ran out of ammo. Yeah, I hear you, man. I. Uh... I came back from PAX pretty tired. I took t I took the Tuesday off work. Um, I was still not fully recovered when I went back on Wednesday, and then a whole bunch of stuff caught fire. Like uh, I had a whole bunch of really nightmarish scenarios to deal with with client systems this week, and yeah, I I was just dead. I was so tired. Uh, 
I had a really good sleep last night, which I desperately needed because I was, uh, I mean, you know, I solved the issue. I solved the client issues, made my, my, my boss was super happy, but, uh, yeah, I am, uh, I didn't end up, I didn't end up streaming on my two other normal days this week because I was just too, I was just too done in. I think I'm going to get screwed on time here, but... I don't know where all the enemies are, so I think I'm going to get... There we go. You plus the shit ton of snow, as Foxy said. Yeah, the weather, when I came back, the weather was also like, oh, you're going to cheat on me with a trip to Texas, are you? Yeah, we'll suck it. So that happened too. I slept okay the first night at PAX. The second night, I actually slept really badly um, because of crappy hotel pillows. The third night, I slept much better. And then my first night back at home in my own bed, I just, uh, I was out. I slept so well. Oh, I think this is a boss fight. There are boss fights in this. And I'm going to throw it out there that the shotgun is probably the best option. For a boss fight. Here we go. So this is where things get interesting here too, right? Because uh, this guy can take multiple hits and he has minions. And, you know, just like, uh, just like me, the enemies, if they roll, they have iframes. So... But as you can see, we're going all matrixy here and like fighting each other through the walls of this hallway as we go. Five a.m. Wake up! Oh God, man, yeah. No, when I yeah when I got home to my own bed, it was glorious. I was I felt because uh, the thing is, hotel beds are typically very soft, and because of my bad neck, I I don't uh, I don't. Um, I, I, I don't do soft beds well. I have a firmer mattress. And when I was... Uh... Yeah, when I, when I got home to my own mattress, I was just like, oh my god, it's the best thing ever. Yeah, so this game is top-down, Foxy, which I know a lot of people who aren't used to that have a bit of a hard time with it. A lot of older school games, like back when I grew up, played this way because it's obviously a lot easier to uh, animate and, you know, do the art for a game when you're just doing a sort of a zoomed out top-down view. So I, I actually, I can play these kinds of games just fine. But especially if you're more used to modern titles, this is not something you see as, uh, you see as often anymore. So it's a little harder to figure out. Um... I'm getting there. Ah! You, I, I, yeah, you, you get used, to, uh, Foxy. When you played stuff a little bit longer, it becomes a little easier to understand. They call it that. They, they a lot of uh, the terms that's used a lot with stuff like this is visual language. So the way the game is trying to present itself to you, and the way it wants to. 
it wants you to sort of understand its visualization and how that affects the gameplay. It's a not it's not an easy like it, it, if you're you're newer to games, it can be kind of a harder thing to comprehend sometimes, but your brain figures it out very quickly and very quickly becomes very used to that to that concept of understanding like I said the the, the way the game wants to present itself to you and it, it becomes way easier than you think when you you just sort of put in a little bit of uh, a little bit of practice and sort of just immerse yourself in the in, in it a little bit it, it it's actually simpler than you than you might you might think but yeah I, I can certainly see when you're if you're not used to playing a lot of varied stuff like this it can definitely be a little like huh Hitting the guy, see the one problem is you can't hit the guy uh, when you're on the low end of your roll because you actually shoot the underside of the window. So I have to be standing, I have to be at the tail end of a roll when I hit him, which makes things really tricky. But at the same time, if I land a heavy hit on him, he, he, he actually rolls and pauses. The really long re reload and recoil on these guns, though, is brutal. On um, the shotgun, is brutal. I don't. Th I actually might change weapons. I don't think this is actually the best weapon to start with. I think the SMG might actually be a really good option, just because it's rapid. Though, of course, it runs out of ammo very quickly, and these guys are not dropping those, so. If these levels have challenges like don't use slow-mo or only hit enemies, like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys can't tell, I haven't levied much, I haven't been able to levy much cr uh, critique-wise about this for a few minutes, but that's just because I've been, I've been concentrating on this so heavily. Yeah, this game is awesome. Uh, if you like Hotline Miami, if you like Max Payne, or if you're like me and you adore both, this is game is a no-brainer, uh, without a doubt. Uh, it's definitely hard, and it is definitely not the easiest uh, visual language to get used to. P What's up, Cataract? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. But uh, yeah, if you're if you are a fan of Hotline Miami and or of Max Payne, uh, this is a quality piece. I am uh, really, really enjoying this. Uh, but yeah, it's 20 bucks. It's on PC and PlayStation 4. Uh, as I said, the devs have been super, super responsive to feedback. You know, a couple of the reviews and fans said they didn't like the way a uh, aiming in slow motion worked, and they've already given you an alternative option in a patch. So this is made by uh, a tiny team of, I believe it's only a two or three people from Sweden. And they absolutely understood what game they were trying to make and what people expect out of a game like that. Um, if you want to do a perfect run of this and get all the challenges, be prepared to spend some real time on it. But uh, it is a uh, it is a damn hoot. I am. Uh, I am really enjoying this. Supposedly the game doesn't take too long to beat if you just want to grind out the story and don't care much about the challenges. But the thing that I love is the fact that they actually tied the challenges to weapon unlocks. So if you if you go back and work on challenges, you earn stars that you can use to purchase uh, to purchase upgrades to your uh, to your weapons. So by by being willing to do some of the challenges earlier on, you can actually make it potentially a little easier later on to do other challenges. So it's kind of an interesting trade-off that they, they offer you here. But also, man, these boss fights, these guys are, uh, these guys are durable. And I ran out of bullets. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, alright, let's try, uh, let's try the rifle instead. What's up, Ludger? Hey, buddy, how are ya? 
So a lot of these people who are popping in here are awesome folks that I got to meet at PAX South. Uh, Ludger, Cataract, um, Acrid, amazing, amazing folks. Uh, not all of them stream a ton, but definitely, uh, definitely go check out their their uh, their channels if you want. Uh, really, really awesome, awesome folks, and uh, really great members of the Shed community. Absolute pleasure hanging out with those fine folks this uh, that weekend. Ah. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Nah, man. It was it, it was a true pleasure. I really really enjoyed it. Only the my only regret about that weekend is that it didn't last longer than it did. Also, the fact that I didn't actually eat any barbecue when I was in Texas, which what the actual living hell was the matter with a lot of us. Yeah, I, I I agree. Like what a burger, what a burger. Don't get me wrong, I like what a burger, but yeah, and the pubs were nice because they were near the hotel. But yeah, I I Costa didn't want to Costa didn't want to have to go anywhere to get barbecue, and I'm like, look, the cost of a lift ride to get proper barbecue while we're in Texas is totally worth it. But. Well, yeah, that caustic guy. I mean, yeah, he is—he uh, is a—he is, he, he is a little bit special, but you know, I've—I've I've heard this too. Yeah, that that like, I know the the barbecue divisions in Texas are 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 you know deep and well known, but uh, I'm sure we could have found something decent in in San Antonio. I was also told that I had to go to this absolutely cracktacular uh, uh, taco joint, but that we we that would have also required a lift. But I don't know. It was like five miles away. I'm like, eh, it wouldn't take that long. It was a shorter ride than we had to take to get to the airport, which was also quick. Porchies, yes, thank you. Pirate King was telling us, "Yo, you got to try this. You got to try this place," and I was like. Okay, but yeah, there wasn't one in the immediate downtown core, so we didn't end up going to it. God, jeez. Oh! Man, these boss battles are rough, man. Woo! Oh man. All right. Well, we are uh, we're coming up. Um, Republicans in my trailer park's trashy, indeed. Yeah, so Ludger, this game is basically if you combined, yeah, a little bit of John Wick, but a lot of Hotline Miami and Max Payne. Uh, this is fantastic. I I am enjoying the ever-loving crap out of this. This is the Hong Kong Massacre. Uh, it is available. Uh, it is it is on Steam and PlayStation Four. It's uh, ten percent off right now for launch, but it's twenty bucks. Um, it is twenty bucks uh, U.S. normally. Fantastic deal for what it is. It'll challenge you. It'll make you really work for your victory. But uh, especially if you want 100% it, there can be a lot of value in here. And it it's just, if you are someone like me who loves Hotline Miami, this is an absolute no-brainer. Go get it. Uh, I'm super impressed. I found this yesterday because of Skill Up's review, and I completely agree with what he said on it. Uh, but thank you very much to Vresky for responding. I kid you not. I emailed these guys and asked for press codes, and they responded in 10 minutes, which was crazy fast. So I am uh, super thankful to them for that because this thing looks really, really cool. So, all right, guys, that is that one. So if you are... Um if you are watching on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, etc. Uh, but for those of you on Mixer, we're going to be coming back with the next game in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to use the washroom real quick, and we're going to do that. But we're going to uh, switch this up um, 
we're going to switch this up quite a bit, actually. Um, so these were two newer games that we started off with. The next three are games that have been out a little bit longer, a few months generally, and they're very, very different uh, and uh, than these ones have been. So I'm, um, I really like the fact that we got a really unique group of uh, titles here today. So hang on two minutes, guys, and I will be right back. Indie Showcase Saturday rolls on.